my uh, Lab C project, what I decided to do was model the flight of a rocket because I just love aerospace engineering. So um, a few things I did have to sweep under the rug because rocket flight is quite complicated. That's why people study their entire lives to do it. Um, just to point out some of the things that I kept constant that normally aren't constant are things like um, the air density, which changes as you get higher. And of course, the acceleration due to gravity changes with height. That one is especially less significant because it doesn't change that much with the actual heights that we're going at. Even the air density doesn't change that much with the heights that we're going at. Along with that, I also keep constant the um, exit velocity of fuel out of the nozzle of our rocket. But that actually works very well for um, what we're doing here because most of the time you have like one engine um, and that's restricted in the speed that our fuel will exit. But we can control the mass flow rate by controlling like the size of our nozzle. So those are actually the things that the user is able to control is the size of our, or the mass flow rate, the mass of our rocket without fuel and the mass of the fuel itself. Um, along with the time that we're going to measure it over. <clears throat> and so you can see that the equations for this are quite complicated. We have the, um, the mass, so the change in mass over the change in time, which is um, dependent on the change in the amount of fuel over the change in time or the mass flow rate. Um, and then we have our velocity, which is dependent on, well, uh, velocity. So our acceleration is dependent on the velocity because of drag. And then it's also dependent on our mass flow rate. So that's the thrust that is provided. And it's also dependent on, of course, gravity. And then the last thing is our altitude or height is dependent on our velocity. And so this is, it's almost like a third order differential equation. And many of these things are dependent on another. So you could also consider it as a um, system of equations of like first order equations. So we'll go ahead and run this and I'll show you exactly what happens. One other thing that we can choose is actually our shape. So this is a way of determining the drag coefficient. So each of these shapes, I looked it up online and found what the drag coefficients are. Obviously you're not going to make a rocket that looks like this, but again, we're simplifying things because we don't want to have to have you design an entire rocket. So I already have some presets for when you start. And if you go ahead and hit launch, then it gives you the change in mass or the mass over time. So how it's modeled is our um, fuel will keep ejecting. So it'll keep burning until we're out of fuel and then it'll just stop. And so that's why we have these points here. So it just stops. And that means that our velocity is going to go from, you know, going up to suddenly going down. And then you can see this is our altitude here. So you can see acceleration in this region as it gets faster and faster. And then once the uh, velocity hits this point, it's pretty much ballistic. So we can choose different shapes and I can launch them here and we can see how with shapes that are less aerodynamic, we don't make it quite as high. I'm going to go ahead and clear and then just for the teardrop shape, I'm going to show you the effects of increasing the mass flow rate. It basically just makes you burn a lot faster, but you normally hit about the same height. Um, if we increase the amount of fuel that we give, it's going to take a lot longer to take off because we're a lot heavier but we're going to be able to move a lot farther. If I increase my payload, it's going to not make us go as high. And what can happen is if, our, um, if our, we're too heavy, or even if we're too heavy with too much fuel and our mass flow rate isn't high enough, we're not even gonna launch off the ground at all. And that gives a pretty accurate model of how a rocket actually works.